Hello guys, what is going on? Tecno McKay here. So for today's video, we have something really special from Ugreen. This is a network attached storage. To be more precise, this is the NASSYNC DXP4800 Plus network attached storage. These are the boxes. So here we have the main unit itself. We have the network attached storage. And they also sent us some hard drives. So there's two in each boxes. I'm gonna show you in a second when we open them. So this is the box. This is how it looks like. We have four bays for the four uh, hard drives they sent. So they also label 01, 02, 03, and 04. If we have a look on the back here, we have some uh, features. So powerful five core Intel processor, fully featured and easy to use Docker, easy multi-virtual machine hosting, smart photo album organization, home multimedia entertainment center, uh, safeguarding your critical data, high performance exclusive operating system, and sync and backup also comes um, straight out of the box. So it's absolutely amazing. It's got most of the features. Uh, it supports all, all types of uh, RAID from RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 10, uh, everything you might need to safeguard your data. And yeah, pretty much that's it. That's it, what's inside the box. We are going to go ahead now and uh, open it. I'm going to show you guys what you get inside the box. And after that, we are going to set everything up. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so after opening the box, this is pretty much what we get. As always, let's start with the small stuff first. So we get a two year warranty card right here. If you got any issues, you can find them uh, at support at ugreen.com or scan this QR code. They will be more than happy to help you out. Their customer service is absolutely great. We have a user manual right here for the NAS itself. So it tells you what you get and what everything does. I don't even know the full capability of this NAS and I will give this a read. So I will suggest you do the same. Uh, we have a user instruction for the power supply. Of course, we got a power supply break right here with a UK plug cable uh, because I live in the UK. But uh, if you live in another region, I'm pretty sure it will come with either European, North American or Australian. It depends where you are. We have a bay lock key. So as you can see, the four bays right here have some uh, locks. So you put this in, you rotate it. I'm not sure if I can do it with uh, one hand. There you go. And now it doesn't open. But the other one that's not locked, you can just press on it, it will open and you can just slide the hard drive out of it. So that's really handy to have if you don't want uh, to accidentally press them or you just want to keep them locked away. So they included two of these keys in this uh, tiny plastic pouches. So one is here, the other one is the one I showed you. We have some uh, spare thermal pads right here. They're quite thick as well. We have a screwdriver and some screws. We have uh, two Ethernet cables. These are CAT7 because the NAS itself has two uh, internet ports. And in the boxes I showed you, we have two of those boxes, but I'm only gonna show you one. We have two four terabyte hard drives in each. So we got um, Western Digital four terabyte NASware um, hard drive. All of them are packed nice and uh, tight with uh, anti-static film as well. So they won't get damaged uh, either static damage or mechanical damage while in transit. So that's really good. Yeah, they come in these boxes. And now we have the main unit itself, which is the NAS. As I told you, four bays. On the front, we have power button, LED lights to indicate uh, the LAN and the disks. So the LAN light is the first. Then we have uh, disk one, two, three, and four. SD card, USB type C, USB type A 3.2. And on the back, we have some more ports. I don't know if I can rotate it with one hand. I don't want to damage my desk. There we go. So in the back, we have a magnetic dust filter, which can be pulled off. Obviously, I'm going to take this uh, cardboard 
um, out of it but uh, you can easily clean it after you clean it you can just put it back it's magnetic uh, super easy to use we have a HDMI so you can get a display output we have another USB type A 3.2 two USB 2.0 we have a 2.5 uh, gigabits internet port and a 10 gigabit internet port we have a reset hold right here and obviously we have the power supply uh, socket and uh, pretty much that's it that's what's inside the box I am going to go ahead now and set everything up and uh, once we're in uh, its operating system I'm gonna show you guys how everything looks like so let's go ahead and do that right now alright so the NAS is all set up it's already connected to my network uh, I want to tell you a bit about how I connected it so I'm going to leave the NAS probably here next to my TV where I have uh, most of my media stuff. I have a mini PC and whatnot. And I connected the NAS to a switch that was already behind my TV because everything uh, basically that I use is connected to this switch in terms of uh, media. So cable comes from the switch directly to the NAS and of course you can also connect the NAS directly to your PC or to your router and the switch is connected all the way to the router so basically uh, my TV my mini PC my NAS my Xbox everything they're all on that switch so it's pretty simple to set it up once you plug everything in including the power you press the power button and uh, you wait for all the lights to turn white and uh, pretty much that's it uh, let's go ahead now and uh, record our desktop. I want to show you guys the user interface and how everything works. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so everything is all set up. I done everything. It's already set up, but I'm going to show you guys how to find your NAS on your uh, network. So basically you go to your browser after the NAS is connected. Of course, you type find.ugnas.com. There you go, you'll just press search, my one is already done, but all you have to do is just press search, you'll connect it, you have to set up an admin password and whatnot, I'm gonna leave everything as default, for just for uh, demo purposes only, you connect to it, that's it, this is the interface, it looks clean, I really like it, we have a CPU usage and the RAM usage right here, uh, on the top right corner, we have a find, we have a user, so first thing you gotta do is create a storage pool, we go to storage as you can see we have all the hard drives connected so we got four hard drives no drives in the m.2 slots then we go to storage right here we create a pool storage pool and you see select the raid you want i just pressed raid zero because um, obviously i'm gonna delete everything and i think i'm still gonna use raid zero because all i'm gonna have in there is probably just some uh, films and uh, some music basically i don't need backup for that so i want to use the whole um 14 something terabytes that gives you so everything is there you can see 14.3 terabytes it's created and uh, from here it's pretty pretty simple to set everything up uh, now if you want to actually find the nas on your desktop basically it won't show right here in the network right so to find it all you gotta do is go here go to control panel to device connection and you find file service right here so at the file service you copy this or you copy one of these addresses so for example I'm just gonna copy this one already copied I'll go to my file explorer I'll just type it in here of course you gotta put in your admin credentials and whatever uh, your username and your password and after that that's it you're in uh, you can either copy files straight into this folder I put mine on the desktop so you can either copy files straight into this folder or you can go to files here on the user interface go to your shell folder if if you haven't created a folder create a personal shared or a user folder 
it's also super simple to um, share with other people so you can create uh, shortcuts you can copy you can download it you can upload it to another folder very very simple you can create other users as well in, in control panel again i suggest you give everything a read it's super simple once you once you read it once you'll get it so yeah uh, the files are here for example if i minimize this and i will copy some videos that i done for youtube so properties we go 25 gigs i'm aiming for about 100 megabytes speed uh, again i'm connected to a switch that has uh, other devices plugged in on a one gig a second connection so about 100 megabytes a second will be fine so all you have to do is just drag drag them in here like so we are getting about 113 megabytes a second and it's gonna take about four minutes which is pretty decent you know because comparing to uploading to google drive and whatever uh that's gonna take ages so this is a direct connection between my pc and the nas and all of the other uh devices i have so i can even access it, this from my tv from my mini pc from my phone it's super super simple to use and yeah pretty much that's it um to make sure everything works just go on here you press refresh already folder starts to pop out I already have some videos in here so um let's go to the youtube intro this is my tech room uk intro just click on it it's loading there we go of course we got no audio because i got no aud audio output capture set up but uh, the audio plays yeah everything just works just fine again this is really handy the top uh, the top right bit in the corner you have a cpu and a ram usage uh it will show us now that the files are copying they're still copying the cpu is at 14 percent and the ram usage is at 11.60 percent which is not too bad you know considering uh the five core 12 gen cpu and everything uh I'm absolutely amazed by it. It's super, super easy to use, super user friendly. You have App Center. You can look for specific stuff. You can create uh, other user to well, user management, as I told you. So yeah, um, pretty much that's it with the NAS. If you guys want to buy it, I am gonna have a link in the video description down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.